name's Stevie, and today we're going to talk about intention setting. But before we get started, it's important to understand what an intention is and why it's important. Intentions aren't only relevant to sport, but also to our everyday lives. An intention is essentially a declaration or a statement of actions or the mindset you're going to partake in in order to work towards a goal. Your intention is essentially the framework behind your goal. It is the energy that is going to go into it is going to be your belief system behind why you think you can achieve that. Your intentions are going to help you to recognize what it is that you need to prioritize, how to manage your time, as well as identify any other resources you need in order to achieve your long-term goal. You can think of your intention as the belief behind your why, why that can happen to you and why it should happen for you. It is important that you spend time working with those intentions each and every day. And you're going to have different intentions for your life outside of softball. You're going to have different intentions for practice as well as on the field for gameplay. You're going to have different intentions behind how you interact with your team and as well as what you give to yourself on and off the field. In this video, you're going to find a checklist that you can print off and go through that's going to help you to get very clear on your intentions because the clearer you are, the more likely it is that you're going to achieve your goal because you're going to be taking the small steps and you're going to be able to see the pathway and the journey to get from A to B. First things first, you have to be very clear in what you are affirming. Affirm your intentions by stating only that which you want. Remove anything else that is limiting or a fear response because it's going to only muddy your intention, which is going to affect your journey. You also want to affirm that you've already achieved that which you're working towards. So reframe your statement as if it's something you already have, something you've already experienced. And each time you affirm that you've already experienced and that you have it, you strengthen your connection to the end result. Next, you want to practice and work on cultivating the feelings that are associated with your long-term goal, as well as with your intention. I want you to focus on the feelings that you're chasing in pursuit of your goal. What feelings will that goal bring to you? Have you experienced those feelings before in your life? If so, create a list of the times or the actions or the experiences that allowed you to experience those feelings. You're going to take that checklist, you're going to place it on your fridge, and you're going to look at it each and every single day. And when you look at that sheet, you're going to pick one of those actions or those environments or those experiences and put yourself into that place. The more you do so, the more you strengthen your connection to those feelings, the more connected you are to it, the more potential there is to realize your goal. It allows you to naturally build your confidence up. Next, when looking at your intention statement, you're going to eliminate any limitations that may exist in it. Look at to see if you've words, used words such as but, try, maybe, and if. Your statement needs to be bold and clear and there can't be any room for hesitation here. Once you've refined that statement, I want you to adopt an attitude of gratitude. And I want you to look at the areas of your life where you feel supported and the people that have supported you on your journey. Express gratitude towards them. Gratitude is actually the hidden force behind your intention. Last but not least, when it comes to setting your intention, be realistic. Start by setting intentions that are realistic and attainable based on your previous experiences and what the resources that you also have access to in the now. As you start to build up momentum, as you start to achieve and really connect with your intentions, you can start to make them a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. 
And as you do, you're also going to bring more resources into your path. As you build up momentum, you can expand the length and the potential of your intentions. Before each game, I want you to write down your intention statement. And I want you to close your eyes and I want you to reaffirm it to yourself over and over again. I want you to take that moment to, as you're stating it to yourself, feeling those feelings. Because if you experience them before, you can take yourself to that place. And as you connect with the feelings and then you step onto the softball diamond, you're gonna feel ready and primed and capable. You're also gonna be very confident in that you have what it takes and that you are gonna be doing everything in your power and in your mindset to make that happen. With your intention setting though, we want you to be practicing this off the field because it's equally important. We want this to become a bit of a lifestyle shift for you and a part of your routine because as you do it with the other areas of your life, it will be much easier for you to do it when it comes to sport. Recap, you're gonna set clear affirmations. So you're gonna affirm your intentions by stating only that which you do want. Then you're gonna affirm that you've already achieved it. Next, you're gonna cultivate the feeling associated in pursuit of that goal. You're gonna eliminate any limitations in terms of your wording or your mindset. You're gonna adopt an attitude of gratitude and practice that daily. And you're gonna be realistic in terms of the intentions you're setting and working towards. Now I encourage you to start setting intentions in your personal life, practices, and pre-game. 